Taking 1.2 billion a year to go through water. Now, this government and successor governments, Fine Gael allow a lot, sorry, 300 million out of 1.2 billion to our water system. Fianna Fáil and their previous governments allotted 500 million to our water system. The rest was never handed over. The reason being, this government and previous governments have slowly but surely ran down the Irish water system with the sole purpose of sending it off at a later date. And what happened at the council on Wednesday was nothing short of a puppet show with each of the councillors, each of the councillors spinning the same rhetoric they were fed from the top down. 17 councillors voting against, 13 councillors had the bone to vote for and 7 abstentions which is just shocking. I mean there are arguments that we do have a terrible leaky system and all that needs to be fixed. We don't disagree with that. We all know the state of the system. But what have they done about it over the years? Why didn't they do it in the boom when they were falling over bags of money? There's no denying that the system needs to be fixed. The question is, is a question of funding and where that funding comes from. And they could make the hard choices. The hard choices would have been to not pay the eight billion we pay to bondholders every year to service the bank debt. That would have been the hard choice. But they know they decided to come after the same people that they have been squeezing for six or seven years. And now is the time we have come back fighting and we're saying no. Enough is enough. Um, the argument we saw in the council, unfortunately over ten councils in this country have already said the Irish water should be scrapped. And unfortunately Killeer County Council wasn't one of them. Certain people abstained from voting and now they the argument that we've been given is that water has to be paid for. We all know water has to be paid for, but it has already been paid for through general taxation, income tax, VAT. There's a, house, there's a housing crisis, there's internet broadband crisis. Does that mean we're going to set up another tax, another tax, another tax? This taxation has to stop, and then it'll stop at this. There's only one way this is going to be better, and that's non complaints and I've been preaching it for weeks and months on end. If you don't pay, all we need is 70% of people not to pay, and they're going to have to scrap it one way or the other. Yeah. Now, the only thing I will say, as regards protests and everything else, keep them peaceful, folks. Yeah. Keep them peaceful. Our friends here haven't had to get out of their cars, and that's a testament to what you've done here today. 
The other side of it, lads, is the social media. We have to keep pumping everything on the social media. Yeah. Because RTE are doing nothing for us. Yeah. Amen. To, to show that every leader on, on 6, 1 and 9 o'clock knows they didn't even give Jerry Adams two, 20 seconds on it. Mm. No, I'm not belonging to any political party, but I'm just saying there has to be fairty across the board. Yeah. Folks, we have a petition here as well that if everybody make sure you sign it and take some leaflets for information on the 10th of December. The petition at the moment, I think, is over 60,000. The largest petition in the country so far has been 70,000. And I think this petition is going to go well above that. So make sure you